Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, the second video. So if you have not watched the first video about getting your original videos into onto your computer and setting up your folder tree or folder structure, do that now. Um, but if you have, great, welcome back. Right now you should have uh, five folders inside the uh, two extraction folders you have. You should have a sorted folder um, and inside originals. You should have your two original um uh, movies or uh, clips that you want to uh, mess with. Um, so what we're going to have to do, we're going to do this for, we got to do this process twice, but we're going to do this for yourself first. Um, we're going to open up FaceSwap. And give me a second. Um, I'm going to open up my latest thing. And I'm going to save it. Um, okay. So I'm going to say new project. Closes. All right, so I'm over to face swap again, and I don't want to load my last session because my last session was something different. So, um, so then I've got this here, right? And I want to make sure I'm going to extract. And what this is going to do is this is going to go into my, um, sorry, it's going to go into my clip of my face. And it's going to find every single clip of my face. It's going to take a picture of my face and it's going to make what's called an alignment file. And that alignment file is going to say what it's basically telling the computer in this picture, here are 64 points of interest on the person's face. And it's going to do that for every single picture. So here are where his eyebrows are, here's where his nose is, here's where his mouth is, here's where his eyes are. All of these points of interest that the computer should be aware of when it's learning what I look like. So it's going to pull every single picture out of my face or of any face that's inside the clip. Not just my, it'll be any face that's inside the clip, it will pull out. And then it will create an alignment file. Inside the file is going to be a list of for every picture, what the computer should be paying attention to. The 64 points of interest on that face. So it's creating these two different um, kind of this pool of pictures and then a file that goes to the picture saying, on this picture, here's all these points. On this picture, here's all these points. On this next picture, here's all these points. And it's going to do it for every frame of your video, for every face in your video. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our input. Our input is going to be a movie. So I'm going to select a video and I'm going to go to my videos are inside my deep fakes. So I'm going to go to D drive and then deep fakes and then my originals. And I'm going to grab my original. I'm going to say open. And then my output directory, where is it going to dump all of these pictures? So out directory is another way of saying folder directory. I'm going to click here and I'm going to go into my D drive and I'm going to go into my deep fakes and I'm say extract Laporto, not sorted. We have not sorted these. It's just going to take them and dump them in here. I'm say select folder. And then at this point, there's, you know, there's some plugins and different things we can kind of add here to make it more realistic, but we're going to do this quick and dirty. We're going to basically go ahead and say, all right, man, go ahead and with your default settings, just grab as many of my faces as possible. When I click extract, then go through, it's going to detect, sit back, have a sip of coffee, and you can see down here, it's kind of giving you this readout of what it's doing. And this is actually important. Oh, look at this beautiful guy. So it's grabbing my face and every clip of my face. And down here, it's just telling me, it's just giving you a readout what's going on. You might run into errors. This is open source. It's a bit buggy. We don't know exactly what we're doing. So it, uh, you know, we may be asking it to do things that it doesn't know how to do that well. Um, so you may run into errors, and if you run into errors, you may want to see, oh, look at that, he looks angry. 
Um, you may want to see like what those errors say. It could be something you clicked here by accident. Um, and it's how you investigate what went wrong. So now I have this almost there. Great, complete. It found 442 images, and inside inside those images, it found 442 faces, right? So now when I click on my D drive, I'm going to open my folder, just go to my D drive, I go to deep fakes, I go to extract Laporto. Holy crap, look at this beautiful guy. Here's a bunch of pictures of me. And they're all kind of different. That's pretty cool. But what if I was in a situation, well, huh, let's stop. Um, now, yeah, let's do it with the other one. Let's do it with the other one. So now I click here and I go to uh, deep fakes. I go to original. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for the other clip, the other clip. So the Robert Downey Jr. talking to Jimmy Fallon. So I click on this, select video. I go to deep fakes, I go to D, deep fakes, um, my originals, and I got Robert Downey Jr. open. And then I'm not going to drop it and extract Laporto because that would be a nightmare. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say deep fakes and put this extract into Iron Man because Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. And select folder, and I hit extract, and it starts up again, and it goes through. And it finds all the faces. Give it a sec. And boom, here we go. Now notice with this one, this is Robert Downey Jr. This is Jimmy Fallon. I do not want the computer to know or to think that Jimmy Fallon and Rob John Jr. are the same person. I want it only to learn what Robert Downey Jr. looks like. Don't learn what Jimmy Fallon looks like. I don't care about Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon's going to be someone else in the shot. I don't care about that. I just care about when you find Robert Downey Jr.'s face, you put my face on it. So... And you'll see here, there's a little bit of like, it thinks that's a face. There's a little bit of stuff that it kind of gets screwed up on. So uh, it's grabbing these faces. What I'm going to need to go do is after this, I'm going to need to sort all these and then find only or find all the pictures that are not Jimmy Fallon and erase them. So once we go through this process, we'll go through the sorting process. And then, uh, let me see, we got, this is 8% done, yeah, we're probably, I'm going to close this video. We're going to come back and I'm going to go through the sorting process and uh, uh, start to pull out the ones that are not Rob Downey Jr. So, give me a second, I'm going to turn this off, we're going to speed through this, we're going to come back and, uh, and sort this stuff out. Okay. I have now fast forwarded into, I have extracted... So over here, we've extracted a whole bunch of the Robert Downey Juniors uh, and uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon's, and we've put them into this folder. And look at this. Holy crap. There's a million, not a million, let's actually see. There are 8,452 pictures of Jimmy Fallon and random faces that it seemed to have find through stuff. Like, it is grabbing everything it thinks it's a face and, and putting a picture of it. I don't want it to learn from everything it thinks it's a face. So I've got to go through here and delete every single person that is not Robert Downey Jr. This is Robert Downey Jr. This is Jimmy Fallon. I've got to go in and find this is Jimmy Fallon. This is not. This is this is what's got to delete. I got to delete all these, and that's going to be a total pain in the butt because I got to go through each one and try to find them. So luckily, uh, luckily, Face Swap does this really cool thing. Don't do what I'm doing right now. Um, does this really cool thing where it'll sort them by faces, right? So if I go in here, oh, I thought I had it. If I go in here, I could say, I'm going to say a new project, uh, just cancel this. Don't do what I'm doing right now. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm going to open this up. 
it does this really cool thing where I can go ahead and if I go to tools and then sort, you should do this. Tools and then sort, do this. I can sort all of my pictures into this, into like, first will be one type of face and then second will be the second type of face. So I can say input and I click my input and then I go to uh, downy. Let me just make sure this is the right one. Um, so I go to my deep fakes folder, extract Iron Man, and then in here, I'm going to say, okay, my extract Iron Man, that's where all my pictures are. Select folder. So I'm going to input all those pictures, and I'm going to output those pictures into my sorted folder. So I've extracted Iron Man, sorted, and I say select folder, and then when I hit sort, it's going to go through and rearrange and sort my pictures. Pull this up here. Please back up your data, blah, blah, blah. It's thinking. I think it's thinking. Um, yeah, it's thinking. It's definitely thinking. I think it's thinking. It's going to sort them all. Here we go. It's sorting. It's classifying faces, right? And this is going to chug through and chug through. There's 13,000. Holy crap. So now, Mark, you know it's done when it says done. If you get a red thing here, there's an error. You got to redo it. You got to figure something out. You got to ask me for, for questions. Then it says process exited. So you want to make sure it says done and then process exited. So now when I go into my sorted Iron Man, so I'm in extraction Iron Man, sorted, here they're all put together. Here's all the side faces of Robert Downey Jr. If I keep on going down... You're going to see all of these are faces. They're all kind of put together. And what I can do now is I can easily, just by clicking down, if I see stuff that I don't like, this is this is a little bit shady. Like, I don't like this one. If I hold Shift or Control, Shift will select everything between the two. So these are a little bit blurry. I don't want the computer learning from blurry stuff. So I'm going to like get rid of some of these blurry ones. So I hold shift and I'm just kind of clicking through and I've selected all these. I hit delete. Those are gone. I'm going to keep going down. I just look through. All of him on the side. And then turns his face. And just like look for anything that looks messed up, right? Anything that looks like. It doesn't belong there. Some weird stuff back up here. Let's see what that was. So this is like him faded. I, that's that's doesn't belong there. I don't want the computer learning from these. You can see it like saw his eyes. So I thought it was a face. No, I don't want the computer learning from that. So I'm scrolling down further. And I'm just watching. I'm just looking for whatever shouldn't be there. You know? Like, whatever just isn't his face. Isn't a clean shot of his face. Oh. Something weird up there. Again, I just don't want the computer all confused by this stuff. So I'm just going to take these out. All right, here's all Jimmy Fallon. We don't need him. I don't want him. He's not the one I'm not taking over his face. So I'm just going to scroll all the way down. This is all Jimmy Fallon. I don't want Jimmy Fallon. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and select. These are all Jimmy Fallon. I don't want him. I don't want him. I don't want him. I don't want him. There's some weird stuff here. Look at this. 
There's like this weird stuff. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want any of that in there. So I just selected all of it and I hit delete. And now we should get to the point where we have like a So now this is just all Robert Downey Jr. And this is a clean data set. This is all data, all that data together is called a data set. This is a clean data set for our machine learning to start learning from. You can just look at him at every single angle and learn exactly what he looks like. Pretty sweet. You should do this with your video and with a YouTube video. Cool.